Hello everyone and welcome to my first ever YouTube tutorial. Um, I filmed this very simple makeup look for you all. And please, if you would like to see how, how I accomplished this look, please stay tuned. I've, here I'm putting on my primer, which is the Lancome Smoothing Primer. And I'm just going to rub that into my skin like so. And I'm going in with my Iman Stick Foundation in the Clay 3 as a highlight shade. Put that underneath my eyes and in the high points of my face. And blend it in with a damp beauty blender. And you keep blending it until you get um, the finish you're looking for. And then I'm going to go in with my Lancome um, stick. Um, it's a stick contour. It's a double stick. And highlight the contour. And I'm going to contour on my face. It doesn't really show up on screen, but it's dark enough for me. So I put that on the lower point of my face, underneath my chin, forehead, and underneath my lips to emphasize. So go in, put it in, and then we're gonna blend, blend with the same beauty blender. Blend, blend, blend. Blend, blend, blend. And blend some more. Blend. So when we're done with blending, we're gonna go in with um, the actual my actual shade of the Iman and it's the clay 4 and it's a it's a shade lighter than the shade I use on the Iman but it shows here on camera it's showing kind of light but it's actually my shade it's actually darker but it's coming off on camera as it's lighter so apply it on where I haven't put any products um avoiding the eye area where I already have products in the chin and on my forehead and just put in, in areas that don't have products and we're gonna keep blending with the um, same blending sponge and then I use some of my setting spray with the Mar Milani setting spray I put some in my hand and put the sponge in it to get it damp continue to blend on my skin I blend a lot because I have very very oily skin and sometimes it doesn't hold makeup so this is my way of making sure that I'm able to um, I'm able to maintain the makeup for at least a few hours I cannot wear I cannot wear makeup all day and then now I'm putting setting in my light my lighter um, foundation with my um, bare minerals powder it's my favorite powder. It holds on my skin. So I'm gonna put on the high points of my face to emphasize my highlight. And uh, I'm gonna go that, make sure everything is set in. And then um, I'm gonna find, I think I'm looking for my, yeah, that's my face powder, my black opal face powder. I'm gonna take that in and uh, get a um, and blend that in with my skin with a brush. Blend it in really well, like I always do, because like I said, my skin is very oily and it doesn't hold makeup. Go in with a bronzer. This is the Shea Moisture bronzer. I don't. I think it's discontinued, but if it is, I'll put description on every product I use in the description box so just you know the drill just put your forehead underneath your cheekbones and underneath your jawline to emphasize some shadows give you a slimmer look and then just keep doing that until you get your desired result Blending, keep applying, and then 
I take some of it and I put it on the side of my nose. I have a very short nose, so I don't really contour my nose. I just put powder to put some um, dimension there. So, and then I go in with my favorite bronzer, which is the CoverGirl Queen Collection bronzer, and I just put it where I already applied some bronzer, same as I did before. And then put it in there and then I'm going to use my Bare Minerals again to damp the sponge. Sorry, the Milani setting spray to damp my sponge. And then lock everything in. So this is a way to blend every single product that I put so it's all one canvas. I'm going to go in with my Black Opal um, blush. It's a very natural blush. It's more like a sheen. doesn't have much color in it. So I put it on my cheeks. It doesn't really show up on camera. Sorry guys, I use my phone to film this, to film this video. Because uh, I have a camera, but I haven't quite figured out how to use it. But my next video, I'll use the camera. Now I'm going in with my favorite Milani blush. It's, it look, it's very pretty for people of color. It's kind of purple. But when you apply it on your skin, it looks so pretty. Um, I'll post I'll post pictures of this on my Instagram so you guys can see the actual um, what it looks like when I'm done. Because on camera it's not quite showing up how I want it to. So now I'm going to do my brows. I don't do much with my brows because I already have a natural arch. I have thick brows, so all I do is just extend the ends of my brows so it's pointy at the end, and I just brush it in. So that's all I do. Brush. I'm going in with my eyeshadow now, so putting some eyeshadow primer, Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. Put it in on the lids and blend, blend, blend. Blend. Uh, putting the ugly face, that's cool though. Going in with my Tarte, Tartius Pro, what do you call this? Tartius Pro. Con um, eyeshadow palette I'm going in with my transition shade and this is called whimsy yeah and then now I'm putting in another shade I think it's called edgy it's a darker brown I'm putting it um to deepen the crease just right in the inside the crease just to make add some depth to it I have really small eyes so I don't really do much with my eyes so now I'm going to go in with the, I think it's called Drama. Yeah, I was trying to go for a, a not so dark look. Just um, very subtle, subtle shadows I was trying to create. So I went in with a lot of browns and a lot of purples. Just different shades of browns and purples just to accomplish this look. So, I'm, I went in with mob. that's a plum color, and because of the other brown color underneath, it just gave it a very, almost like an off purple color. So I went in with, um, I think it's called Vamp, on the outer corner, outer V to deepen the sides of the eye, and then just blending it in on both sides. And um, I'm looking to see how I'm going in. And I'm using the, I think it's called Punk. It's a really, 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 really I think it's black. It's a black eyeliner. Black eyeshadow, which I used as an eyeliner. Use it with a flat brush and I just lined my eyes with it. Um, smushed it out and then went in with an eyeliner to extend it outside. Extend it outside my eye. I'm doing both sides of my eye and then I went back in oh I lost the clip but I went back in um, with my transition color I think it's called Wincy and um, put it underneath my eyelid with a flat brush and then I'm going in with a shadow called Mix Mint M-I-N-S M-I-X 
put underneath the inner corner of my eye. Now this is a eye lash primer. So if you have really curly lashes and you find that your lash goes into your eye, uh, use an eye primer, eyelash primer first before applying your mascara. The primer will set the lashes for the mascara. Now I'm going in with my um, my long comb um, highlight and I use my finger just to dab dab. It's very subtle because I have oily skin so I really, you can already see the oils coming out from my skin so I really don't do too much shine. I just do, just dabble with my fingers. I put in my nose as well but I think I cut that clip up. And I'm lining my lips for my, um, my, um, what do you call it? I'm lining my lips for my lipstick. And I'm using, um, oh, I can't remember the name of this lipstick. It's a very deep plum color. It's really good for the fall time now. I'll put the list. It's a Remy lipstick. Yeah, I know it's a Remy and it's a number 11. It's really old. I don't know if you can still find it, but I'll put links below. And I wasn't really feeling it, so I changed it to Colourpop. Is it LAX? The brown lip line lipstick. And I just thought it was too dark. In both colors, I felt were too dark. So. I just applied to see if I liked it and then I looked, I looked at myself, I smiled a little, I'm always smiling and I didn't really like it so I changed it back to a different color and I forgot to show the clip of me changing it but I'll put links of every lipstick that I use. Lipsticks are my favorite um, makeup piece and even if I don't have anything on my face I always make sure I have a lip color. Because I like my lips, so this is a finished look. Hopefully, you guys like it. And please don't forget to subscribe or comment.